All right, guys, welcome back to the Nico Brothers. And as you can see, I'm inside our burnt RV. Well, not really burnt anymore. It smells really fresh in here. It's been a couple days. Memorial weekend went by. It was really nice. Let it, you know, cure a little bit. But I still have a lot of work ahead of myself. I still want to sand it again with some spots. You know, that was just a primer. So I'll sand it again. If what, reprimer a couple places if we see anything like that. And then we can start working on the cabinets themselves. We got all the doors. There's a lot of work ahead of us. But honestly, it's looking a lot better. It feels a lot like just even the feel of it for sure it's really nice so let's go ahead and start keep working and get to it Okay, so I went around and I took out all the screws from the ceiling that we use to temporarily hold our panels on top. And I'm gonna go around and wood fill them all up, let it dry, sand it down, reprimer, and see how it turns out. Keep going. Okay, so I basically got the ceiling all patched up for now. I opened up my little vent, so let some fresh air come in here, let it dry quicker. But while that's dry, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the cabinet doors themselves, get the handles apart, start sanding them like crazy, and getting ready for primer, so then I can primer the doors and the ceiling as well, together. Cause I get my gun dirty, it's kinda of pain in the butt cleaning and stuff, might as well multitask, put it all together, but that's not bad. Let this dry, let's get that done. So here we go, some of the old Cabinet doors, I got a mirror. This one doesn't look too bad, so I'm definitely gonna try to salvage whatever I can. There's definitely some more burnt ones than others, but overall, I think the structure's there, and hey, this is what we do, we salvage things, you know? It looked bad, we're gonna put some love into it and uh, make it work. So I got some there, I got some more over here. Definitely got a lot of work ahead of myself, but first I'm gonna take basically all the little hinges off, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these hinges. I'm not gonna reuse them, so I'll probably hang the drawers with that hinge or something, or I still need to sand behind it, so I'll probably just swing it over or something. I don't know. Just go at it and see how it turns out.
All right, got it all hanged up. And ready to spray, got it wiped down. Floor's wet. Man, there's a lot of cabinets in there. That's pretty crazy, you wouldn't think so, but. Yeah, a lot packed in that little motorhome. But it's looking good. I think it's gonna turn out great. I'm just gonna have primer everything and then I gotta sand it again and then paint it with a nice, maybe semi-gloss or I don't know what we're gonna paint it. You guys let us know what we should do. I mean, what you recommend. We're not in a lot of construction remodeling, but I know the basics. <laughs> some pros out there, you got some tips, let us know what we're doing right, what we're doing wrong. I appreciate the comments, all the feedback. Definitely read the comments on it. But all right, here we go, let's get ready to paint. Before I spray, I'm definitely gonna put on that white seat again. I learned my lesson last time about scrubbing for hours. That primer stuff did not want to come off. I mean, I probably still have some on my skin somewhere here and there, so I don't want to do that again. I'm gonna go ahead and suit up this time. Even though I'm in a paint booth, I do need to go inside the RV itself. I sand it down to the top of the ceiling where I patched it up, so I'm gonna spray that as well. Might as well primer it again. And some other spots I've seen made some runs, so I sand it again, go spray real quick again. So suit up, get ready, and let's spray. done. I got all the cabinet sprayed. I got the inside of the motorhome and the slide out. That little top piece also sanded down and sprayed. Whew, man, I'm definitely sweaty, drenched, but hey, it's better than being covered in white primer everywhere. So I like the suit. It did its job. It's turning out fantastic. I definitely got to let these things dry before we put our final coat of paint on there. We are probably going to paint them white. I think it's going to look so clean and modern, but that's all the time we have for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for staying tuned. And until next time, make sure to turn on the notification bell. Check out our merch shop. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. See you later.